everybody. Well, today's home project. We're going to talk a little bit about these uh, snakes laying around your house. Now, if you like me, you know, I know they're here. I run into them all the time, especially when I'm up there in the woods metal detecting or hunting or what or doing trail cameras. And I know they're here, and I know they're around here too. Got a lot of little field mice, it's bad to be getting around here. Uh, all these little birds in their nest, squirrels, ground squirrels, rabbits. I mean, yeah, I've got all kinds of stock of little game reserve around here, and I try to, you know, stay out of their way if they stay out of mine. But I'm gonna show you a little bit today about little tricks of, to keep these snakes from laying around your house. Now, that, this won't stop them from coming through here, but it'll keep them from laying here. They won't lay. They don't like it. They will not lay around here and sense, sense this, and they don't lay. They'll, they'll move through and move on. They don't like it. Okay, what I'm talking about, you probably already know it. Maybe you don't, but mothballs. They work. I've used them for years. I still see snakes, but they ain't laying where they're supposed to be, not laying. Now, that's one thing about it. It's just don't cheat mothballs. And uh, you can pick them up anywhere, they're really inexpensive. You can get them at a dollar store, or at your hardware, or Walmart, anywhere you want to get them. I'll show you some of the places you need to put these things. Stay tuned. You can see places like this around the house where you need to put them. Like I've got a deck right here, a big open deck underneath it, and I use it for storage, but it gets full of leaves and these woods and stuff blowing in here. And you can see. So what I usually do, just you don't want one laying here next to under you under the house here where you live. Because you don't want to be out here walking around him, step on him or him walk up there on you. So I'll just show you, you just need to throw them in places like this right here under his deck. So we'll throw some out right here. You just take you some of these. You can use gloves. I mean, just, you know, yeah, I don't want to eat these things or nothing, but just throw you some in here. Just sparingly here and there in the corners where you don't want them to lay. Back up in here. And I guarantee you they won't lay there. They might pass through, but they won't lay there. The only thing about this is, yeah, they do stink. But they, they sense that on their tongue and they won't lay there. So we're going to move on to another place. You can see here we just keep it covered up here. I keep the screw we can store it. Plants in the winter time, old pots and stuff. But they won't lay there. You might throw you some under places like this right here. Under your deck. Just you know they just won't lay there. They'll pass through. Places like this right here. All back under there. Throw it places like this right here. Back under your deck, be it your garage, your building, old barn, anything. If you live out in the woods a little bit, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'll uh, show you here a little bit. And you just take your son and throw them around there. Just leisure you there. They will not lay there, I guarantee you. You may pass through there and they won't like it. See, back under places like that right there, where a snake would want to lay. won't lay there, I guarantee. 
and they sense them mothballs and they don't like it. It messes up their senses, so they move on. Like I said, you know, they'll pass, they may pass through here, but they won't lay there. So if you throw these around in some of your snaky looking places where you don't want them to lay, I guarantee you, they won't lay there. You may see them crawling around, but they won't lay where you don't want them to. So, hope this helped you. Well guys, I've showed you some of the places to throw them. And yeah, they'll pass through. Because they're looking for something to, to get a hold of and eat. They won't lay in these places you put things. I, I guarantee you that. They won't lay them. They don't like the sense. Sense them with their tongue. They just don't like this sense it puts on. So they won't lay there. They'll just move on and lay somewhere else. Now guys, it don't matter what brand you use, mothballs is mothballs, but please look at the box, and, and some people might be sensitive to this, so I would advise you just use some little rubber gloves or regular gloves and toss them around, and wash your hands after you're done. And please look at the box on the back. Now, I haven't had any pets any. The animals don't like this smell of stuff either, so I've not had no seen anything being eaten them because they'll just lay there and dissolve for months and they'll just dissolve away so there's nothing left of it but uh, look at the uh, back of the box and he'll tell you what uh, what your precautions is if you got any worries so just uh, read the precautions and the safety procedures and uh, that's all there is to it now, like I said I haven't had any animals uh, eating any of it because I, I check on them you know every once in a while and they're still laying there dissolving they just get smaller and smaller till they go away so anyway guys I hope this helped you so just use a little common sense when you use these things wherever you think they're laying every nick and cranny you don't want them to lay throw you one back in there so that'll take care of that but I hope this helps you around the house and you put these out like I just showed you, you won't have no problem. So, y'all take it easy, and I'll talk to you next time.